Welcome to PG Tech. Today, I have something cool. This is a project I've been working on for a week or so, probably closer to two weeks. And this had a lot of fails, and it is not fully complete, actually. Um, I must apologize, because in every video, I have cats running amok. So there's random scuttling and whatnot throughout my videos, so I apologize for that. Anyways, I'm calling this Project Retro, and basically what I did is I took an old TV, um, I believe this one is from late 80s, early 90s. It was originally in a old camper that the place where I worked decided they wanted to let us have fun and destroy the camper, so I salvaged this out, and the TV still worked, but... Uh, you don't really have a use for an old TV except to have look neat, and it was already damaged, so it wasn't gonna look nice. Anyways, um, after I showcase the project, I'm going to uh, let you guys see some of the build faults I had, um, and just kind of walk you through my build process. Anyways, so this is Project Retro. And I got all the buttons working, and then over here I had some other buttons, and I pulled those out and put replaced them with USBs. So I basically have a massive USB section here. I have a USB in the back with um, the Wi-Fi antenna, so it looks kind of even more retro. I've got the PC power button right here, um, and the monitor power button and controls here. All of the buttons work. And in the back I've got Ethernet and then the two power cables, all cable managed together. And so you can see that it actually works. I'm pressing the button. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's not a very bright panel, um, but I'll get some shots so you can see it. I have the fan on the a fan on the side, and then I actually have another fan in here because it's a passively cool GPU. This PC can only use half light or low profile uh, GPUs, and they have them up to 1050 Ti's now. So. You can actually have a pretty powerful gaming computer. It can hold any um, MATX board. I in the vit, uh, in some of the B-roll and stuff I'll show you. I put a different uh, MATX motherboard besides one I have in here right now. Um, this current version has an E6750 ancient CPU and only has three gigs of RAM. But um, right now it's Windows 10 on it. All I'm going to do is install either Android, which um, I have a video somewhere around here. I'll link it here. Um, and you can watch how well, I'm going to install Android on this. Um, and I'm going to just run retro games or I'll just have a massive emulator to play tons of games or t several emulators to play tons of retro games. And I can actually carry this with me anywhere I go. So, pretty, pretty sweet. Um, I originally had a Q6700 in it, but I'm pulling that out to put back in its original build. Um, and you could, again, any MATX motherboard, so you could have uh, upwards to a uh, 6700K, 7700K on an MATX Z170 platform or something like that. Um, and you'll see how I did that in the video and stuff. Anyways, uh, now that you see it works, you know, everything works. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, but it, it's working. Um, I'm going to show you the build. Thank you for joining me and enjoy the footage. Forgot to mention, I'm going to be doing a review on this cable here I purchased just recently. It's a um, the Anchor Powerline Plus cable, and it's a C to C cable because my cats chewed my other cable, which is really depressing, but it comes in a cute little carrying case. Anyways, if you want to see a funny video, I'll turn that into a comedy. Just drop a like down below. Back to the video. Today is a really informal video because I've already started this project instead of recording before I started and I didn't really think of actually like using it as a YouTube video. Anyways, so my goal is to put a full PC into this old monitor, this old TV housing and I put a monitor as well, of course, and I'm planning to use these as like USB ports or maybe um, use this as the or so I'm gonna try to route these three audio da uh, jacks through here 
and then maybe a third here from the actual monitor since the monitor has speakers as well and then I'm planning to put uh, other I.O. through here um, so I can do that and then I'm planning to put the power button so it'll turn on the monitor and the PC at the same time so that is all in the works a lot of work already spent several hours on this project and so here's that's the remnants of the old monitor my room is in shambles right now um, and then here is the actual display with all of the brains and I've already had it fitted and this is going to be a little block that will hold it in place and then I'm going to mount this block to the actual casing and of course there's the power and whatnot so I'm probably going to solder uh, a new uh, or extension leads to this button there from there and then solder similar power button from the motherboard and I've already mounted the power supply as you can see in there uh, and it can use just any power supply because of how I, I made specific mounting bracket thing my bobber uh, drill holes except this hole ended up being slightly out of whack so I can't use this one anyways it's still pretty sturdy with three right now I'm working on a drive solution uh, currently I have the cables just routed through here and I'm thinking about putting like a drive like on the side um, or up here but probably just on the side I am going to put probably like a 90 millimeter fan intake right here where the speaker was and then uh, I don't know how I'm doing the rest I'm just kind of making it up as I go I'm gonna route uh, the monitors power through here yep and then this power through here and I'm just gonna try to cable manage them together big ass block and then finally so it doesn't look as dank I'm going to try to cut along this edge here of this uh, vacuum tube monitor or TV and I accidentally broke the vacuum tube and it made this sound it was pretty 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 crazy um, and may maybe I'll cut here instead and see if that'll work because this is the original seal point between this piece of glass and this piece of glass so they could put all that extra hardware in there when they built this TV um, so yes I'm going to try to cut this right here pull out all the hardware and then maybe mount this monitor to or inside of this I don't know if it'll work and if it doesn't I'm gonna cut probably along here sorry it's out of focus focus you little bastard I'm gonna try to cut along here um, so it won't look as so here I'll show you what I mean because the glass is curved they mounted it mounted um, or made little slot for curved glass here so it filled everything so when I put just the monitor even though it's the right size it still leaves this like gap here and here so I'm going to try to do sort of is like mount the glass here and then have the monitor shine behind the glass so you'll still be able to see everything it'll just be a little bit more dim and I've already tested this is just an MATX motherboard I believe um, and I'm not going to put a powerful gaming PC, but theoretically I could use like an ITX gaming PC and then um, just some smaller form factor uh, power or uh, graphics cards. This is just like a, I think a HD F450 or F3 or whatever, or not F, uh, 5450. Um, uh, so yeah, an HD 5450. 50 and the reason I use this graphics card is because it's got this extension here um, because this lead kind of gets in the way if I try to plug it in like this for how I have currently have it mounted because it slides into these slots which happen to be basically the exact perfect size and it slides in like this yeah as you can see in there um, that's how it slides in and then the monitor will be here with all of its brains here power supply there it only has four gigs because it uses DDR2, but theoretically, um, given the form factor, you could use almost any uh, MATX motherboard. 
and slide it in. Um, and then it's got a pretty beefy cooler. It's got an E6750, um, so not a very powerful chip or anything. It's ancient, and I just am going to use this for like a retro gaming machine. Maybe install Android on the on like an extra or on like a mini hard drive, and then I can play tons of emulators and whatnot. That's my main goal right now. Um, I'll see you hopefully when I get this done, and I can show you the finished product. Anyways. Goodbye for now. So it's been a few days since I started this project, and um, I'm nearing completion, and I mean complete completion. Uh, it already is functional and cooling. I finally got down. So basically, I decided to add a 90 millimeter fan where the old uh, speaker mount was and eventually I will get functional bu a functional button here I would put a little bit of a like a glass pane right here kind of how this one is and then put like an LED there and then put three audio jacks routed from the back up to here um, and then planning to properly mount these USBs because if you look they're not really properly mounted um, just some hot glue or something uh, but basically that's all I have left and then of course if you look here you can see all the wiring and up there Ugh, can't really see it there but um I'd like to put a proper like maybe like a metal sheet cut to size underneath here and then up and then up here um so you don't see all that jazz uh, I was originally gonna use the original glass and then when I was cutting it halfway through it decided to shatter and look at that, huh. scuff there. Um, and then I routed, I have an ethernet through the back so you can have a better internet connection if you're doing like some uh, MMOs. Uh, the power supply is mounted. I've got the other power cable and then as I said, USB in the back for this in case you don't have ethernet. And that's pretty much it. It's complotted. So, what else? Uh, so, in some previous footage, I showed you it with a 650 in it, GTX 650, and I couldn't actually put the GTX 650 because um, the power supply comes through here, you know, and it extends about to here, and... A normal height graphics card comes up to about here so it interferes with the power supply and realistically I could have mounted the power supply further up but I wasn't thinking at the time for height clearance so this only uses a specific type of graphics card um, uh, I'll have the name here because I don't remember the name but it's basically like a half height or half width graphics card um, and um, MSI is making a bunch of those. They have a 750 Ti version, so I realistically I could purchase that for I don't know like 80 bucks. I put a 750 Ti in here, and I changed the CPU to a Q6700. Um, the it can't overclock because the motherboard doesn't allow overclocking. But theoretically, you could put any uh, MATX uh, motherboard in here because this is an MATX motherboard, or the slot in there is kind of basically the size of an MATX motherboard, which is pretty nice. Uh, so you could have, um, I have DDR2 in here currently, so my max capacity is four gigabytes, because um, only two uh, dim slots. But theoretically, uh, you could have up to, you know, like 32, um, you'd have two 16 gigabytes uh, sticks. Um, and you could have a pretty dang powerful system in here. Um, and then this is just a, uh, a monitor from an old monitor I had a long time ago. It's only like 720p, so it's not crazy or anything. And I think that is it. Uh, oh yeah, I put a hard drive cage in there, so you'd have up to theoretically like three hard drives. But yeah, anyways, uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, I'm using this as like an emulator or 
just as like a gag to dr go around um, and play MMOs at different places and see what people think. Uh, so yeah, um, I can also have USB controllers up here. So I could play a lot of different like emulators like uh, N64, um, the original Nintendo and all of that craziness back then. Or even um, newer ones like uh, Xbox 360, Wii, uh, GameCube and all of that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, crazy project. This is PG Tech signing out.